The last time we were about to trip out. So how about that? I know that she was like, take anything you wish. Whatever, robbers. But uh, I don't know if that's really going to fly here. Still says steal. So I think that she might still freak out, uh, funnily enough. Now you know how I feel. Uh, wait, forget I said that. If she's a hallucination, why am I seeing her too? We are obviously the victims of a tasteless joke being perpetuated. Uh, uh, perpetrated? Uh, I mean, we're being made fools of, aren't we? When I get out of here, I'm going to show that hermit what you get for messing with me. Always ready to give up, to lash out. Always searching for answers, but always in the wrong place. Never looking inside himself. You look inside yourself all the time, Max. Or with your head buried up your posterior. Okay, Vision Mom, how about giving us answers instead of hollow platitudes? and platitudes from a figment... figment... of my imagination, no less. Who said I wasn't a figment of your mind? But you know the truth. You don't need someone else to tell you. You've always known it. Everyone knows it. They just won't see it. We're overwhelmed with stories from our earliest days. The stories others sell us, and the stories we tell ourselves. These stories are how we try to make sense of our lives, but they are not real, are they? They're just stories. You need to drop your story and see the truth. I got your story right here. I'm Vicar Max. I'm uptight. I love the church, and I'm astute for the board. And I don't understand that Felix is a genius. How well do I even know Max? We're overwhelmed with stories from our earliest days, the stories others sell us, and stories we tell ourselves. Ah. These stories are how we try to make sense of our lives, but they're not real, are they? They're just stories. You need to drop the story and see the truth. I don't... I mean, that's... It's kind of too vague to latch on to. I don't have that much to go on with Max beyond just the fact that he believes in this whole... Unlocking the secrets religion... Grand plan thing.
I mean, we're here for a reason, right? I guess. <laughs> it's just super. It's one of those things where it's just like it's just not my position to even comment on these things. Like I know him. I don't know. But I'm asked to make a choice here, almost on behalf of him. Your mom's right, Max. Your story blinded you to the truth and landed you in prison. What the fuck are you talking about? Look where we are, Max. Trusting an unbalanced hermit with your sanity seem rational to you? No, I just wanted to prove to my parents that I... That... I, <sighs> Damn it. You're right. Max, you need to lay the past to rest. What happened with your father and I, it's long dead. To attain your goals, you must live in the chaos. Be fine with the chaos. Whether you resist or not, it will take you wherever it wants. More assuredly than even the fictional architects plan to sleep away to prove. No, that's not true. The basis of everything is order, not chaos. It's true, I know it is. So did you. Why are you denying it? Before you died, the plan made you happy. No, it didn't. I made myself happy. There's nothing holding you back but you. If you can't understand that, you will never understand anything. Goodbye, Mexico. This whole thing, it's, it's, it's just a farce, right? Just, just my own brain working against me? You couldn't be more right. Hello, Max. What? Who? Why do you look like me? Are you me? Not really. I'm who you think you are. I am disciplined, controlled. I have no doubts, and I don't exist. Yet you have judged yourself against me your whole life. Why? Why do you berate yourself for not being me? Yeah, Max, why do you do that? Max, I figured it out. You need to kill this guy, now. He's yourself. You need to get rid of him, get it? It's almost like a bad joke. I can do that. This Jack is in I see you're back with us. Feared we lost you there. Never seen anyone pass out yet stay upright before. What happened? I... woke up. The illusions I built for myself just fell away. I'm no longer interpreting, I'm... experiencing. Everything... is perfect. That was a confusing sequence? Whatever happened- it almost looked like they attacked me, like my, persp my perspective jumped. Was I the guy who got attacked? Was I the other Max? I- <laughs> Really? Have you looked around the colony lately? No, no. Not perfect in that sense. But it is still perfect. It's all there to be experienced. To be lived. Of course there is pain and loss. But the suffering is caused by trying to control reality. Clinging to the way you want things to be. Not enjoying the way they are. There may be something to the, there may be something to that. You seem happy, or at least not angry. I am content. I finally found what I was looking for, even though I was looking for the wrong thing.
Oh no, is it gonna go from exhausting to boring? He gained the tuned in perk. Oh, does each of them gain a perk when you finish their companion quest, basically? Mm. Felix has a perk to buy. Increased damage after doing companion ability. Hmm. Nope. Base health makes a lot of sense for these guys. Tuned in. Increase the duration of effects when taking drugs. Drug effect duration plus 50%. Huh. I don't do that. But okay. <laughs> this doesn't come up all that much, all things considered. I've been mulling over everything with Graham and the Iconoclasts. Graham is so close to the truth, but he'll never see it. He's too busy wielding it like a bludgeon to support his own self-image. This leaves him unhinged and unaware of the consequences of his choices. I urge you to be careful in your dealings with him. His mercurial nature makes him a bad choice to lead anyone. Who would you trust to run Monarch? As much as I usually appreciate the board's ordered approach to governance, in Monarch's case, they aren't really running anything so much as leaving everyone to rot. Unless you agree with them that the inhabitants of Monarch should be forced to evacuate or die from their stubborn rebelliousness. Zora is militant, unbending, and ruthless, for sure. I'd be hesitant to oppose her. But she gets results, and she doesn't suppress intelligent discourse. Can't say I agree with the Iconoclasts, but... Zora has what it takes to save Monarch. During the experience of the Hermits... At the Hermits, <laughs> you seemed, um... Somewhat at odds with your mother. I wouldn't say my parents disowned me, strictly speaking. But before they died, they accused me of thoughtlessly abandoning them. I couldn't understand it. I was only trying to make them proud by becoming a better vessel for the plan, to feel the joy they felt. I was so certain my potential was wasted as a laborer, and was willing to risk everything just to prove to them that they were wrong. I was lost, misguided. Anything you'd like to discuss? There are things I don't understand about your religion. Yes? Besides the Grand Architect and the plan, what else do you believe? Scientism, as its name implies, believes that nature abhors equality. The strong survive, and the weak perish for the betterment of the whole. And reason, not emotion, is the seat of all morality. Wisdom means accepting the vicissitudes of life with grace and dignity. That sounds like a cruel belief system. I prefer to think of it as looking at reality for what it truly is, not how we'd like it to be. Let's talk about something else. Yes? I'll think it over and get back to you. What's on your mind? Oh god, camera. I wanted to talk to you, ask you about this Harlow guy. Yeah, sure thing. Ask away. Oh, it's over. That was distracting. How well did you know Harlow? Clyde was my first friend, but he was also my mentor. Taught me how to think, how to question, how to disobey. I figured the board got him in the end. Some guys with black uniforms snatching him off the street in the middle of the night or something. You said Harlow was your mentor? Yeah. I was just a lonely orphan kid getting my knuckles dirty. Clyde? I want to say he saw some potential in me. Like as not, he just took pity on me. So he took me in. Gave me a place to live. Gave me something to believe in. You think Harlow might be in trouble? That's what I don't know. The message was light on details. No explanations, as usual. Clyde. He was a blustery old cuss. 
carried on about violent revolution and seizing the means of production. Harlow must have made some enemies, the way he talked about revolutions. Clyde wasn't an idiot. He kept his head down, worked hard, did as he was told. You're not going to catch him standing on a soapbox decrying the tyranny of the board. But when the Mardettes had their backs turned, oh yeah, he carried on about starting a revolution. Said he was going to do something big. Never mind. Yeah, boss? So, have you found your answers? Not so much found as finally listened. Yes, it is quite the convoluted maze we build for ourselves. Existence is simpler with your eyes closed. It takes courage to open them. It looks like you learned something in there as well. Nope, already knew that. Was just enjoying myself. Of course you were. We should go. Phew, took that transition as a chance to take a break. Let's take a drink of water. <clears throat> Went out and got lunch. Cause, uh, I don't know. I think I made the mistake of having breakfast, then dealing with technical difficulties and troubleshooting for a few hours, then having a cup of coffee without any context or surrounding stuff. So it's like, I just had a, like a cup of strong coffee with nothing else around it. And like my mind was just kind of like fogged by how much it was like racing and busy and so on. And I was having trouble concentrating on what people were saying in that opening part of the episode. I was like, I need to take a break and I need to like sort my shit out. So I went and had food. I think I'm better now. And if you're like, well, didn't you just say you had breakfast? Well, like, I had breakfast at like 10 and it's like four now. I don't know. There was a lot of technical difficulty of bullshit earlier. There we go, Felix. What? Oh, he's at, he's at the landing pad. I thought he was going to be in a cave somewhere. I think about my recording schedule and it's like, normal people work eight hour days. Surely I can just make three hours of video every day and it's no big problem, right? Just record for three day, three hours, but then you're like, oh, right, how much time do you lose to technical difficulty? And how much time do you lose trying to get into the right mental space to, like, perform? And how much time do you lose to editing? And how much time do you lose to logistical stuff? And you're like, ah, oh, shit. What is... What's the deal with this quest? What's on your mind? Something else I want to talk about. Yeah, boss. What? Wait, do we specifically have to talk to him inside the unreliable? Isn't this where I started? So where was Harlow then? If you stop in the engine room, would you ask Parvati to send Sam down to the bridge? What? Felix wants to meet Harlow in person. Travel to his landing pad on Scylla to have a chat with him. Oh! There's a different... <laughs> There's a different spot on Scylla. Gotcha. I didn't have reason to, th to know that existed until just now. Uh, so we've dealt with you. Were you looking at that book before? Were you holding that before? Is that like a piece of meat? 
Huh. So Harlow has his own chunk of... Yeah, he does. Okay. Yeah. I didn't know to check for that, so I was very confused. Clyde's got himself a cozy little outfit, huh? I'm jealous. Tried to build myself a spot like that once. Didn't work out. Oh. Hey, you. Looking for something? Where do you think you're going? Felix Millstone's with me. Clyde Harlow's expecting us. Yeah. The captain said we might be getting a new recruit. That you, then? Sounds like Clyde's jumping to conclusions, but yeah, I'm Felix. You're on a first-name basis with Captain Harlow, huh? All right, go on through. All right. Look how colorful things are around here. Got my sights on you. It is one of the things that's kind of, kind of appealing about this game. It's just the color. It got a little old how, like, the entirety of uh, Fallout 3 was green-tinged and the entirety of Fallout New Vegas was gold-tinged. Like having a monochrome filter over your entire game like it's a stylized movie is just kind of exhausting when you have to live in it for 50 hours. Although it's a good shortcut to visual cohesion. Hey, little guy. His name's Marlo. And his name's D Parts. Marlo and Harlow. Well, hey there, Hullhead. Clawed your way out of the groundbreaker at long last? Uh-huh. Oh, sorry, were you expecting me to say something? Maybe a long time no see or a you've aged old man? They're Marlo and Harlow. Ooh. <laughs> No, it's fine. I'll do my own introduction. Steve Buckworthy. Harlow? Harlow, Steve Buckworthy. Your captain has a sense of humor, Felix. Good. There's a time and place for humor. So, you took Felix under your wing. Kept him busy. Good. Kid always needed a place to belong. He kicks things what need kicking. And we look the other way when he starts talking anti-corporate. It's a good arrangement. Hear that, Clyde? I've been making something out of myself. So long as you haven't been making a fool of yourself. I'm sure Felix has no end of stories to tell of your exploits together. I look forward to catching up with the boy. I, just, I need to get a, a, a feel on her still. Like, is she... Is she pro-corporation? Really? Because she's had a few lines like that where I'm like, Really? Even with your background and your home planet and everything? Tell me why we're here. I'm working on something. Something big. Something the likes of which Halcyon has never seen. And I want Felix to be a part of my initiative. I'm fulfilling a promise I made to the boy. That one day, he and I would change the colony together. That day has finally arrived. Easy there, Clyde. No one said nothing about throwing in with you. In case you didn't notice, I'm pretty happy where I am. I'm not asking you to walk away from your captain, Felix. But neither should you allow yourself to be controlled by fear. Change is not to be feared. I brought you here because I want to know where Felix's loyalties lie. When the day of our revolution comes, I want to know that I can rely on him. Good luck. He's the least reliable crew on a ship literally called the Unreliable. Boss, seriously? Well then, if Felix proves himself to me, I should be more than happy to take him off your hands. I want you to deal with a traitor for me. Name's Trask. Kill him, and bring me proof of his death. His ring should do nicely.
What did this Trask do to deserve death? Routed us out to the board. He's been an informant. Has been for years. When he realized I was onto him, he and his little cadre mutinied. Killed five of my own and tucked tail. I don't know where he's hiding, but his wife might. Rosanna. Lives on the Groundbreaker last I checked. Rosanna knows my crew by name and face, but you're a stranger to her. She'll talk to you. There's more to this than you're letting on. You think so? Maybe we should have a word with Trask. Get his side of the story first. You'd be wasting your breath bandying words with that traitor. But if it makes you feel better, by all means. Remember, I want proof. Bring me his ring. I don't care if the hand's still attached. Here, my token. Think of this as my personal signature. Anyone who knows me by my works will know me by this token. How well do you know Felix? Well enough. It's been a few years, but I still remember a thing or two. You had a chip on your shoulder. You'd argue over anything and you'd never back down. What do you mean, had? And for the record, you never could admit when you lost an argument. You see what I had to deal with? There's something I'd like to ask you. Let's hear it. You said you were working on something big. A revolution is the work of a lifetime, Captain. I've spent my life preparing for the day of Halcyon's reckoning. Everything you see around you is the result of that preparation. A base of operations, loyal soldiers, freedom from the board's oversight. Sounds like you've got some plan to overthrow the board. Hardly. The board is rotting from the inside. Tomorrow, next year, a generation from now, eventually the board will fall to pieces. Entropy is the natural state of the universe, Captain. All systems inevitably dissolve. When that day comes to Halcyon, we will be ready. What makes you think you're free? The skies around Scylla are curiously absent of patrol ships. It's almost as if the board's sphere of influence is shrinking. Besides, our facility is well armed and located on defensible terrain. If the board tries to lay siege to us, we'll make them pay. But you're a bound of outlaws living on the edge of an asteroid. Some revolution. Not all revolutions involve bloodshed and fire, Captain. The purest act of rebellion is to live according to one's own means, independent of any masters. One day, when the board is weak and Halcyon vulnerable, we may claim a piece of this system for ourselves. Until then, we bide our time. Let's change the subject. Something on your mind? Hmm. Every sign of rebellion is generally a good one we had a good all. in this no setting. Brainers, no job, no contracts, leaks. We're standing around kicking rocks. Standing around kicking rocks. But you're free, aren't you? Don't you feel free? Logs. Harlow's crew terminal. Harlow and Marlow. Acquisitions log. Independent freighter, Cat's Meow, Contraband Pharmaceuticals. Brought down, salvage cargo, ransom crew. The getaway sticks. Subversive literature. Brought down, salvage cargo, crew joined up. The werewolf. Engine parts. Brought down, salvage cargo, crew jettisoned an escape pod. As usual, we're able to intercept three these ships despite how cleverly they mask their heat signatures. Our patron pulled through again. With that tracking data. Don't know how they get their hands on it, but we're in no position to refuse charity. Uh-oh. So they're entirely dependent on some outside source that they don't fully understand the log logistics of. That means they could be compromised. Crew, I'm beginning to wonder about our patron. When we opened up our scanners and sniffed the system for our latest wildcat, we picked up a signal from a corporate freighter nearby. It was hauling ten times more cargo than our target. No sooner did we scan it than a message came through. 
ordering us to go after the wildcat instead. Something doesn't add up. Until I get answers, stay skeptical. Harlow. Hmm. They think there might be distractions on purpose. Open last entry. Pirate code. Rule number one. Harlow's the boss. Rule number two. Fuck the board. Rule number three. Why are you still reading, pig? Wake up. If you're seeing this, the board already owns you. You went looking for the rules. Why? Because life's a game to you? Maybe you like being played. You guzzle down that sense of security like it's a purple berry flavored opium. Fuck rules and fuck terminals. It's not a revolution of reusing the weapons they raised against us and time and time again. From the front lines to the riots to the corporate sit-ins and... Document pirates code has exceeded character limit. <laughs> Fuck the police. Alright. They had their fun. That was absurd. How dare you use the tools of our oppressors. It's like, I, aren't you going to use guns and ships that you also didn't make yourself? Like, I think you're kind of stuck using them to some extent. 53? Is that high for me? That might be high for me. No. Ain't nobody got time for that. I'm completely over consumables. I've officially played too long without them ever mattering, so I'm just selling them all. Fuck it. They'll have, turn into money I can use to upgrade my gun. Right, I meant to double check my gear. Jump 63 and 38. Yeah, I'm way up there. I should have sold more of this stuff too. Oh well. I have like 80 pounds to go. So if we want to find this missing person, we want to, we want to talk to their wife on the groundbreaker. This could go dark pretty quickly, if you're a sufficiently shitty character. Some crew members are causing a disturbance on the ship. You're adjusting before you pull. You're anticipating it. You- Of course I'm anticipating it! What if I shoot a friend on accident? That's on account of your stance. You want to lean into it. Embrace it. Work with it. You're in control here, Parvati, not the gun. Don't let a hunk of metal jerk you around. You've been around powerful machinery all your life, and you're always in control, right? I guess that's kind of like when the filler's shooting 600 cans of near-molten sal tuna down the conveyor while I'm trying to tune a belt. Here, stand like me, just so. Hip square, lean forward a little. It's just equipment, and you're just an engineer using it. Okay. We'll try again later. You'll get it. I promise. Dialogue's always kind of charming and kind of amusing. But like, it could use a little believability sometimes. Of just like, just a little, just a, just a little, an just a little animation. Just a, just a little, just a little animation. <laughs> She's making sounds and I'm like, what is she reacting? What is she reacting to? Because she just stood there. That's just kind of confusing in the moment. 53! God damn! I don't like that this is a minus 10 to stealth skills, because that affects lockpicking and everything. I might settle for a piece of armor that's almost as strong, but just doesn't have a negative to stealth skills. Or alternatively, I just gotta keep one piece of stealth skill stuff around at all times. Oopsie.
but once again, and I've said it before, could really use a system that lets you sort items and favorite items so that I can keep my stealth skill item around and then quickly sell everything else off without having to manually check which ones are the things I'm trying to keep around for situational purposes versus which ones I want to... I don't need to keep around that badly. Hey, Ellie. Yeah, these are all the same for every character, huh? I really wish every character had a completely unique skill tree, because only having three skills unique to them in, in their entirety doesn't really make them feel like different characters as much as you would hope. I'm gonna end up building them mostly the same way so they're interchangeable and I can easily switch between them without having to worry about having a massively different party. I've already got Threat and Health and the Intimidate stat. More armor rating would make some sense. What is this armor stat even? 78. What's Ellie's, for example? Or what's mine? Seventy-four. Yeah, embrace the armor. Armor embraced. We're in the semi-late game side quest cleanup phase a little bit, where I'm trying to deal with everyone's companion quests as best I can. But also because stuff on... I was on a different planet, but the stuff I was doing on that planet was just kind of taking me to other planets. Well, you're not ready yet. I think I've used you the least on this planet, maybe? How far away is Rosanna? Um, okay. Not on the map. <laughs> I guess I'll just start walking and we'll see how close it is. Seems like it's closer to this waypoint than the opposite one. Oh yeah, the lost hope. for the following story. Do you have what it takes to defend you? You mind? Trying to have a moment here. Are you Rosanna Trask? Yeah, I was called that once upon a day. You need something? I'm looking for a guy by the name of Rufus, Rufus Trask. I'm told he lived around here. Rufus and I are no longer on speaking terms. I don't know where he is. And if I did, I wouldn't tell you. Show her Harlow's emblem. If you know where Trask is, you want to tell me. That's Harlow's mark, no mistake. Guess he's not letting this one go. I don't want any manner of harm befalling Rufus. Not on my account. If Trask puts up a fight, it won't be your fault. All right, I'll tell you where he is. Just get out of here, please. Rufus is hiding out in Emerald Vale. Got a few friends with him. That's as much as I know. I've got a few more questions. Please, just make it quick.
Harlow tells me Trask betrayed him. Do you know anything about that? Only that Rufus is in a bad way. He came to see me a little ways back. Said he had to go into hiding. Never asked why. He was here to collect his personals, complain about Harlow to me, and say goodbye. In that order. He didn't tell you anything about Harlow? No, and he was particular about that. Said I was better off not getting entangled in his mess. Little late for that, says I. You and Trask split up? That's right. Our marriage contract expired some months ago. And seeing how he's technically an outlaw, I wouldn't renew even if I wanted to. How much do you know about Harlow? Precious little. He and Rufus worked together on the Groundbreaker some years back before he vanished. A few years later, Rufus gets a message from an old friend. Something about starting a revolution. Something about getting rich. Abandoned his work and ran off that very day. Sounds familiar, Felix. He must have been recruiting. Gathering up his band of revolutionaries. Word of advice, kid? Anybody carrying on about a revolution just wants to sell you something. I don't know Harlow. Never so much as bandied a word with the fellow. You're better off having this discussion with Rufus. That's all I wanted to know. I'll leave you be. Appreciate it. No offense, man. Just been a long day is all. All right. I want it. <laughs> So we're going back to Emerald Vale. It's been a while. But also, I feel like I have a loose end around here. Now that's on the on Monarch. Byzantium. Edgewater. So I do have nothing to do on Edgewater when I get there. Fall Brook. Lilia. Am I on the right path there? Station. No. I think we're talking about a station I still have to visit independently. But I'm not overflowing it with spare things for Groundbreaker. I might have been thinking about the Captain, fact. If you're looking for crew members Ellie or Felix, they're sharing a drink upstairs. I may have been thinking about the fact that the. Uh, I thought I was expecting to finish Parvati's quest, but then she sent me to Byzantium. Just chillin'. Have you noticed how our crew's a lot like that crime family from the Masked Marketeer? Oh, which one's the captain? You know the head of the family? Never shows up on screen, but everybody's scared of him? That's the boss. And everyone's got different theories about what they're really up to? I can see that. That's why it's colored this way. It's Rizzo's armor. Enjoying some r, &R? So they're both wearing Rizzo armor, but they're actually wearing two different sets of it. That's why they look like subtly different from each other. Which is kind of interesting to look at. There you go. Weird science weapons. Don't know if I'll ever use you, but I feel bad about selling you. So let's just keep you in a box on my ship. Hey, Terra 2. Been a while. Hope you're not mad still. This one is Nyoka. 
So we need to take Naoka and Felix, which I think are actually the exact same people I just had with my group. Yep. Spectrum Vodka, a glass for every class. <laughs> What's that? Is your society ripped apart by, like, dystopian levels of class disparity? Try new Riz Rizzo's Vodka. It brings all the classes together. Or else... You're some sort of freelancer? Stay in it. Wow. Nice work. Come on in, guys. Come on. Before he notices. Oh. I can't help it, I'm just a naughty boy. Hi buddy, don't worry, I'm allowed in here. Do 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 doop -a doop -a doop boop boop doop boop. This is normal. Always fun to just engage in for a moment. And now to sell it back to them, because this is ridiculous. Oh yeah, everything leveled up. The Assault Rifle Ultra. Oh my god. My god. I do just need to find a moment to clean this menu up in general, because holy crap. Like these, these, these are heavy. Each of these is half of a pound. I have to be careful about it, like stocking up like that, or stacking up like that. Meanwhile, you guys are weightless, which is great. Please continue being weightless. It's not the best choice, so I killed it all, and now it's dead. Goodbye. It's Spacer's choice, or it was, before I ended them. Haha. -ha. They were the worst, and now they're gone. It's been a while. What is it? Okay. It's always a very human specific moment, but like you see like a character you haven't seen in a long ass time, and you kind of always want to see like, what have they been up to? How has the passage of time been treating them? But because they're a video game character, they're like, my plot was resolved hours ago. Nothing will change ever again. Never, ever, ever. Hi dead. How are you guys feeling? Have you even anyone left? Yeah. Now that was fun. Holy crap. I'm bullshit. Did I? Yeah, I, th I think I bought that power that lets me regenerate slow mode stuff every time I get a kill, which if I'm getting headshot kills means that it'll just keep getting longer and longer and longer. Huh. Heard stuff. 
<laughs> it also makes that song. This is like the dark wood of columnar jointing. Where like it's taken over the entire planet. It seems to have a life of its own, like it's growing even though it's supposed to be a rock. It's really unnerving. Damn, he exploded. Oh, that looks like a lot of them. Show me your head. Or not. I think they pretty much just all died. Yep. For the best. I take it you guys have not been leveling up while I've been gone. You took that guy's legs off. There's like more flesh than air in here. They were really packed in there, like clowns. Are we gonna have a nice chat? Seriously, what's up with the basalt columns around here? That's not how they work at all. It's weirding me out. Like they're all leaning in like weeping angels and they're gonna move every time you look a different direction. Friend? You really wanna be my friend, just like speaking historically and stuff. I don't know who you are or why you're prowling around here. But I'm willing to make a guess. You're one of Harlow's gun hands, ain't you? He sent you after me. What makes you think I work for Harlow? Right. You just stumbled into a camp full of armed strangers because you wanted directions. How much is Harlow paying you? I'm doing this as a favor. A favor, huh? Let me guess. He promised you some reward in the brave new world that was to come. Said he'd make you his lieutenant if you crossed me off. Thing is, you and I are at an impasse. Arla wants me dead, and I've got no intention of dying. Why did you betray Harlow? How do I know that I can trust you? What's the worst that can happen? Harlow sends a stranger with a gun after you? Yeah, guess that's a fair point. Listen, I don't know what lies Harlow's dripped down your ear, but you'd be a fool to trust him. I never betrayed Harlow. Harlow betrayed all of us. The board's got him in their pocket, been paying him off for years. All the palaver about revolutions? It's a lie. You're a real piece of work, Trask. Not just a turncoat, but a liar, too. Go piss up a rope, kid. I've got nothing to prove to you. That's the whole truth. Harlow's just another bored asset. A two-bit mercenary wearing a dissident's clothes. You're asking me to just take, your, take you for your word. Show me some evidence. Yeah, I've got proof. There's always a paper trail when the board's involved. I chanced upon some correspondence between Harlow and his employer. I don't know that it makes a difference. What was I to do with that evidence? Bring it in front of the board? There's no authority in Halcyon willing to take Harlow to task. Yeah, there is. You're looking at him. Huh. You ain't like other board agents I heard about. You got a functioning spine. You want to confront Harlow yourself? Be my guest. I hid my papers before Harlow chased me out. Back in the middle of the base, there's an old vent in a utility corridor. I stashed my evidence in that vent. What was Harlow doing for the board? Board sanctioned piracy. Harlow went after the ships the board wanted destroyed, capturing anybody the board wanted captured. If we captured you, we'd ransom you. Harlow liked to do the job himself. Gather up the captives on his own ship, vanish for a couple of days. Only that's not what happened. 
Harlow's been selling his captives off to the board. I don't know where they ended up. Re-education, Tartarus, maybe worse. Why would the board buy off Harlow? Because he's for sale. Anything the board can buy, the board will buy. And that includes loyalty. Harlow was a charismatic bastard, and he was ruthless. With Harlow in their pocket, the board had an informant, a pirate, a smuggler, and a gang leader all rolled up into one odious excuse for a human being. Sounds like a deal to me. All right, I've heard enough. Take it, you've made up your mind. I'm not going to kill you, Trask, but I am going to ask you for your ring. You gonna tell Harlow I'm dead? May as well. I'm never going back to that life again. Uh, here, take the ring. And for what it's worth, my gratitude. Take care. I'm pulling the same trick again. I literally already did this. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Where are we heading on this planet? Do I have a fast travel spot? Close enough. 